guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my September, October haul. I wasn't supposed to be buying anything, but lo and behold, here I am with a whole container full of stuff. But you guys, there's some good stuff in here. So if you're interested, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you guys is the brush I used today to put my highlighter on. This one was recommended to me by my friend, Annie Loves Makeup. This is the AOA Studio E141. I think she said she uses this to put on the Natasha Denona highlighter. I can't remember, it's a really small brush, so I'm like, did I buy the wrong one? I need to ask her about this, but it was like a dollar, so I did place a Shop Missé order when I got back from Ipsy, mostly because I wanted to try out these sponges. Amy said they are so good, and she was right. I used it today to do my foundation. Super, super soft. Make sure you get this kind. It's called the Pow Pow Sponge. Um, when you look it up and they're like two bucks a pop and I know a lot of my other Instagram friends also purchase those especially people that do makeup on clients it's so nice because it's so affordable and then you can just let them have the sponge so those are some of the things I picked up from Shop Missé and then this is the palette I have on my eyes today I believe the look with this palette will go up before this haul video so if you want to see how I created this look with the Moonspell palette from Lunar Beauty I will go ahead and link that up in the cards for you guys to check out as well. Just so you know, a lot of the stuff in here I've already done looks with, so definitely if you're interested, just search through my channel and you'll be able to find all those videos. So we got this cute makeup bag when we were standing in line to meet Natasha Denona in New York. So I put like the makeup I got from New York in this pouch. So I got this little single eyeshadow from Natasha Denona. This is the shade Arizona. It's a beautiful brown shade. I don't know that I need this, so I might just put this in a giveaway. And then we also got this, again, for standing in line to meet her. This is her Chroma Crystal top coat. And I think I threw away the box, so I don't know what the shade it is. But again, this is a very dark brown. I'm really, really tempted to swatch this, but I think I might give that away as well because... I don't need to keep everything. And then this is what I bought to meet her because if we wanted to meet her, we had to buy something. So I bought the mini nude palette because my friend Teresa is dead, raves about how good this is. And she signed it. So obviously I can never ever get rid of this. And here it is. I've been playing with the Natasha Denona Gold, the mini gold palette. I really, really like that. I picked it up when it launched. Actually, it should be in this video. I need to grab that so I can show it to you. But yeah, I bought a bunch of Natasha Denona stuff. Well, I bought the little nude palette. That was one of the things I bought in New York. And this is the only other thing I purchased makeup wise. Because I was walking around Sephora and I was like, wow, I have all of this makeup. Like, I don't need it. So I did buy the Kaja Bento box in Orange Blossom. I had been eyeing this even at my local store. Sephora carries the Kaja Bento boxes. And I wanted to pick it up during one of the sales, but I never did. But these are so shimmery and so cute. So I thought that would be a fun little souvenir of my time in New York with my friends at Ipsy Live. So really, really glad I purchased that. And yeah, this bag is super cute. I definitely see myself using this in the future. So I love that. Okay, so let's see, what else did I get? Okay, this was a purchase that I have been dying to make. I wanted these blushes from the Bomb. These are the Bombfire Highlighter, Highlighting Shadow Blush Duos, and they were half off, so I picked them up, and then they were actually at Ipsy, and I meant to I meant to keep one and give one to Angelica, but then I totally forgot about these when I was packing, so now I have them all, and I don't know, I might keep them all, I don't know yet. Amy bought one of these too because they were so beautiful. This is the shade I was most interested in. It was like a peachy one, so there's the shade Dusk and Dawn in here. And they're like so glittery and beautiful. I wanna, I'll put these in a video because I don't really wanna swatch them right now. Like I said, I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do. And then this is game day. So the first one I showed you was Night Owl. This is game day and this packaging. So here is pre-party and victory. I have beach goer. This is high tide. 
And then this is Low Tide. I think this is the one Amy got. I can't remember. Amy, if you watch this, let me know down in the comments. Okay, so I did pick up the 4th Ray Glisten Up Mist. This is like a setting spray from them. And I saw Kathleen Lights talk about this in her So Jaded reveal video, I think, or something. Or she did like a ColourPop's favorite video. And she said she really liked this. Personally, I think it's okay. It's definitely not going to replace like my MAC Fix Plus or any of my other favorite sprays. I like to use this almost as a hydrating spray sometimes. I'll just spray it on in the morning before I do my skincare. But... I don't love it, I'm not gonna lie. It's not like mind blowing or anything to me. So my dear friend Amy um, is on the Juvia's Place PR list, which how amazing is that? And she got their new, um, the Shade Stick Multi-Purpose Foundation Sticks. And so she was so kind and she offered to bring me some when we met up at Ipsy Live. So she actually bought me three shades. Here's the other one. And yeah, I, have only played with these one time so far. I think these are going to be even better for me in the summertime because of that creamy texture. Um, right now, we're going into winter and it's so cold and so dry here. But I will definitely keep playing with these and report back. I think that those were such a nice addition to Juvia's Place's line because I've seen people of varieties of skin tones even using them to contour and conceal which I think is so fabulous because Juvia's Place is kind of catering towards people with deeper skin tones so I think that's really really cool that they did something like that and then my dear friend Angie gave me two NYX um, Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil Foundations to try out as you can tell I haven't tried these out yet so these are on my list of things to try out as well and then it's pretty much eyeshadows, so hold on to your horses. Some of this stuff I've had for a while, I can't even really remember if I've shown it to you or not shown it to you, but it's the accumulation from like September, October, so it's quite a while. I didn't like go out and buy all of this in one day. So I did show this in a Will I Buy video. I am on the Alter Ego PR list. Thank you to whatever makeup god got me on that list because their shadows are actually really, really nice. This is the Saharan palette. So stunning. At first I thought this was a dupe to the Soft Glam and then somebody told me it's actually a dupe to the Biba palette. I actually own the Biba palette. It's up there. I'm not going to grab it. These honestly hold their own. I don't think that necessarily I need to even compare these to the original. I think they're a good palette. Good formula and I'm definitely planning on filming a look with this guy because I think they deserve attention, positive attention from the YouTube community because they're an affordable brand and they make good things and that's important. Here are two palettes that I've had my eye on. I've talked about this to you guys before. I've had my eye on Glowing in Grease for so so long so I wanted to film this video so I could get to using it. It's a blush highlighter palette from BH Cosmetics and these were on sale on Alta's website so I snagged them because I thought it was a good deal. I think I paid like nine bucks for that and then I bought Summer in Saint-Tropez. Um, Saint-Tropez, not Tropez. Um, because the color scheme just caught my eye and I'm really really interested to see how those yellows perform from BH Cosmetics. They kind of have like some hidden gems um, in their lineup as well. So I want to try these out. I am kind of on a no buy for BH because I bought so many BH palettes and I haven't even used them all yet. So those will be like my last BH palettes you'll see on my channel for a while. I did get these beautiful palettes from Kaleidos in PR. I filmed a look with the, um, this is called the Electro Turquoise. Oh my gosh. This is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. Holy moly. I love this so much. I watched a video that I filmed with this eyeshadow and I was like, wow, what is that eyeshadow? And I was like, oh my gosh, it's this palette. So definitely need to do more looks with that. Love that palette so, so much. And then I am going to film a look with this guy. This is the VR Neon. And it's so pretty. And I don't know if you guys saw, but they are coming out with highlighters. And I'm so excited because 
They did tell me that I'm gonna get the highlighters in PR, so I can't wait for those because they're all very beautiful iridescent shades. And I just spent a weekend with Amy Loves Makeup, and that girl is like the queen of inner corner highlights. She just did a video of like a whole palette of singles that she loves to use for inner corner highlights, and I've been so inspired by her. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a little bit of a inner corner highlight going on myself today. I did use the orangey shade from the Sugar Crystals palette from Violet Loss, which she recommended was a really great inner corner highlighter palette. And I was like, you're a genius. I don't need to buy inner corner highlights. I can just use something I already have, which was great. That was such a great tip. So I bought some little palettes. I did talk about this. I have a look with the Smoke Show palette from ColourPop on my channel already. So check that out if you need some inspiration or if you're curious to know if that's tan girl friendly. I also plan on filming a video with this one. This is Lilac You A Lot. I kind of bought this on a whim because I needed to hit $30 and so I bought it and somebody requested a comparison of that to It's My Pleasure so I will totally do that for you guys because I thought that was a fabulous idea. This was one of my favorite palettes so far this month. It's the Nude Rich by Huda Beauty. I wasn't planning on picking any of these up because I was like, I already have these colors. Um, but then I decided to just buy one and see what the formula was like. And I thought, hey, this would make such a good video for my YouTube channel. And I ended up collabing with Amy and Angelica on a video because all of us bought each of the shades. So Amy bought light, Angelica bought medium, and I bought rich. And so I will remember to link all those videos down in the description box for you guys as well. Here is a palette I tested out fully and then did make a video about because of course I got sidetracked, but this is the Give Me Glow Vintage Rose Palette. Oh my god, this palette is so freaking stunning. Honestly, sometimes I see eyeshadow palettes and I'm like, why didn't like, why don't people find good inspiration? If indie brands can do a palette like this with such an interesting color story, why are people still making, like, boring-ass palettes? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. But this is gorgeous. This is kind of like the vibe I wish Dominique Cosmetics had gone with for her sweater weather palette. Like, I was really hoping to see shades like that in sweater weather, and I thought that palette was such a miss. But that's okay. I didn't buy that palette. I hope you guys didn't buy that palette, but this palette... Is freaking gorgeous and I love it so much and I will definitely film a look with this because I think it deserves its moment on my channel so pumped to own that here is another palette you guys <laughs> listen Natasha Denona killed it with this palette this is the Metropolis palette I have been raving about this palette on my Instagram as well as here on my YouTube channel I did film a get ready with me featuring this palette and you guys really enjoy that video. Thank you so much for the love on that video, by the way. I just, I just don't know what to say. I think that this is a hit. I think this is the palette of 2019 holiday and I think you should snag it if it appeals to you. It's a beautiful palette. You won't be disappointed. So let's talk about Auntie Pat. Auntie Pat came out with her newest giant palette. This is Midnight Sun by Pat McGrath and this is like a hundred and something dollars and this is the only thing I was planning on buying in October but you know what I lie to myself all the time so here is what the palette looks like and I do have a eyeshadow look that I filmed with this palette I will try and remember to link it down in the cards for you guys this is definitely not my favorite huge palette from Pat McGrath but the completionist in me was like get it so I did buy it and then being the total six psycho that I am I did pick up two of her smaller palettes, which by the way, she has a bundle on her website and I feel really stupid. I should have just bought the bundle because the neutral one is really pretty too, but I was trying not to just like buy neutral, so I didn't. But my friend Kat from Rented Fashion was like, oh, I just bought the bundle. I'm like, oh, I'm such an idiot. So also I'm really upset with Pat McGrath and how she did this launch. She did two palettes first and then she launched Ritualistic Rose separately which was super annoying and then there was a rumor going around that Ritualistic Rose was a Pat McGrath website exclusive which it turned out not to be. It was not an exclusive because it's on sale on Sephora so I feel like an idiot because I haven't used Ritualistic Rose on my face yet, but I swatched it when I got it and the swatches were so crummy. I was so sad because I'm like, 
I just spent 65 bucks on these and now I can't even return them if they don't perform. I was gonna return Nocturnal Nirvana. I believe that's what the blue one is called because again, I didn't think it was that good but I decided to keep it because I do like that green shade and it's a little bit of a different vibe for Pat McGrath. What is this called? Something Rose. Ah, uh, so disappointed. I just, I don't know. I need to play with it before I like influence you guys and say like I hate it 100% but just based off of the swatches I hate it like 90%. <laughs> so that's really really annoying. And then another banging palette from Natasha Denona this month is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I have her Tropic Palette, the mini one. I haven't really played with it on my channel yet, but not all of her mini palettes are created equally from what I understand from watching my friends. Like, a lot of the people don't like the mini Natasha Lila Palette, and I did see the Lila Palette is on sale on Sephora for like 12 bucks, and then I think the Sunset Palette, I haven't really heard good things about. This one is great. The only thing is I really just like these three colors. These ones right here, these two I couldn't care less about. And I like the size of this. So if you have the Metropolis, you don't really need the mini gold. And of course, if you have the gold palette, you don't need the mini gold palette. But um, I do think they all pair really nicely together. So those are my two cents on that. And then I did get some Ipsy bags. So this is the Ipsy bag for October. I don't really care about Ipsy, to be honest, guys. I just signed up so I could get a discount um, on the event. Um, this is a Betty Boop bag. I think I might put this in a giveaway for you guys because maybe there's a Betty Boop fan out there that'll love that bag. And then there was also like a Create Your Own Bag event at the Ipsy Live event. And so I got some stuff in here. There's really nothing. I didn't keep most of my goodie bag because... Um, the bigger items were all over the airline restrictions and I thought about like checking my luggage but everything in there was mostly sample size and so I ended up just giving away all my samples. I kept a few things, things that I could fly with me on the plane but everything else I just kind of left behind. I know people that went to creator day got more bigger full-size products and if I had gotten things that were like worthwhile of paying for a check bag I would have maybe considered it but I didn't think so so I was happy to part with all that stuff that was fine so this is kind of a regret purchase of mine I wasn't even gonna get this I didn't get this the first time it came out I got it on the restock this is the Kathleen So Jaded palette I feel like this palette is kind of like a Houdini palette where it looked a lot nicer in some PR photos than it does in person. I was really hoping this was going to be a much more vibrant palette and more like the PR pictures and then when I saw it in person I was like oh my gosh this is not very attractive and because of that I really haven't even used it. I've only used it like one time so I do want to film a look with it at least you know so you guys can see it on my channel since I have it but I would caution you guys on this palette. I think it's a little bit pricier than what ColourPop usually does and I don't necessarily think that it's like the end all be all of palettes. So here's another thing I got from a friend and she gave me this when I met her in New York and this is the Linda Hallberry uh, Infinity Deep Palette. This is like a multi-use palette by Linda so you can use it to contour bronze, you can do it and use it for eyeshadows and things like that so I am really enjoying this palette I've used it once so far and I want to play with it some more I like how small it is and yeah it's a really compact palette I'm really really hoping Linda Hallberry comes to the US I would love for her to have a US retailer I'm really hoping Beautylish will pick her up because I think that would be a great marrying of the two brands I can see her positioning herself at somewhere like Beautylish so that is my hope that Linda will come to the US. Something a little affordable. I don't I don't I don't know. Listen. I placed that BH order on Ulta and I love coffee so so much. This packaging really got me and here is the inside. I don't even know if these colors are going to show up on my skin tone. I haven't even used my avocado palette yet. Everyone's saying it's really good though, so I'm going to try that, but this was totally one of those like I bought it because of the packaging. Isn't it cute? 
It's so cute. Okay, last and certainly not least are two palettes that I picked up from ABH. So I have the Jackie Ina palette and the Carly Bible palette. Let me show you the Jackie Ina palette. This one I haven't filmed a look with yet for you guys. So let me know down in the comments if you're interested in seeing that. And then I did film a look with the Carly Bible palette. It was just like right when I got back from New York because I have this with me. And I really think this is a fun palette. The shimmers are great. The packaging is cool. I know people are very antsy with ABH and wondering like why is ABH coming out with so much? It's so irritating, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, like ABH isn't doing anything that other brands aren't doing. And if there's something you don't want, then just don't buy it. Like it's it's not that big of a deal, I think. I feel like people are just like talking about it just to talk about it, but that's just my opinion. I really am not offended by ABH coming out with so much. And then the other thing too is people keep saying like, oh my God, if I was Jackie Ina right now, I'd be so mad. And it's like, you don't think Jackie Ina knew that the Carly Bible palette was coming? Like, come on. Like, I find that very hard to believe. So I think they're getting almost more traction with people like saying, oh, I can't believe like Jackie Ann would be so mad. Like, I think that is fueling the publicity even more than if they only came out with the Jackie Ina palette. Because guess what? If they came out with the Jackie Ina palette and didn't release anything else for 2019, another brand would have come along and taken away her publicity anyway. Like, Jackie Ina's palette, Alyssa Edwards palette, like those palettes weren't going to be talked about forever and ever and ever, you know, because that's just the nature of the beauty community, in my opinion. So if you disagree with me, let me know down in the comments. I love talking to you guys there. Thank you so much for watching this haul video. Let me know what your favorite product was in the month of September or October, or what you have your eyes on for picking up this holiday season. I would love to hear from you, and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye, guys.